And I am back after a short break. Oh, time to see if I can actually uh, see where's my map. Okay. See if I can't get out of this water. The Dwarven Glossary. This historical account should help me figure things out. I must find the missing parts of the legendary dismantled artifact called Dawn. Oh, I'm not just here to get beer. change oh I really didn't have much money now before I sell any of that meat I need to figure out which meat I can use crafting cooking it doesn't highlight I've got everything for it it does not highlight These little chains on the sides move around. Ooh. Alright, it doesn't matter what. Only the wolf meat has a higher value. So, create. Create. 
to actually do it? There's really not a lot of feedback for that. I don't think I'm doing it, and I don't know why. Wait, oh, the crafting cost? That's why I can't do it. Alright. Well, I'm gonna sell all the weird thing meat. Chip topaz, chip sapphire. I think I'm just going to stick to leatherworking, maybe. So that way I can actually raise some funds here. I may do some herbalism later on. Okay, so cooking. That's sort of a uh, little secret divider. Just when you see that. So the 
boots. No, the, no. They're not that nice. I would think I would find a trainer or something around here. Can't do anything with the well? Guess not. Look at that. The town center even has its own fountain. Fancy. Aha! Merchants, too. They're usually full of useful information. Alright, I'm checking you down. Give me your information. Well, just show me what you have for sale. I just want to see how bad your prices are. I don't think you like me. I'm Independent Merchant Radic. You probably already heard about the food problems here. There's something I'd like to talk to you about. Not only has Barlin withdrawn food from us, he's withholding firewood. He won't sell any to me or the other traders from his warehouse on the docks. And it's too dangerous for us to gather it ourselves outside the village. Get us enough wood to warm us in these darkening days, and we'll make it worth your while. There are a lot of trees around the village, but it's very dangerous to be alone in the wilderness nowadays. Like Please bring us six pieces of Kariara tree. It burns longer than other firewood. I also heard a batch of firewood arrived with the ship, so you might check with Miro there. I think I'm just flailing around with my warhammer while he's talking to me. Alright, what kind of wood do I have? Uh, Kora wood? That's more than uh, zero. So I have another quest. Oh, goody. I mean, this is going great. Okay. So I have to look through there. All that to see what I'm supposed to do. Pieces of party animal. Not that now, but it doesn't leap out at me. Alright, what are you doing? What do you have to say? Yeah, I don't want to buy a ring that does nothing. Sorry, I'm not. I'm not so egotistical today. Excuse me, I need such baubles. I can see from your emblem you're one of Sir Herkin's soldiers. I'm well connected, and Herkin's reputation is stellar. His men are well known for helping others. It might interest you to learn about the difficulties we have with food. This cold, hostile region is not easy to live in, especially when we lack sufficient quantities of food. Our supplies are so thin, and our people are too. We need everything we can get. That damn Kvarlin is trying to get rid of us independent merchants so he can control all the trade in this area. He extorts the farmers, and it's become nearly impossible to purchase food from them. We keep finding means to purchase their goods through other people. However, in these hard times, it is difficult to identify who's an informant working for the North Trade Guild and who isn't. I think nobody will bother you if you purchase some bread. 
and if possible bring it to us. Can you do that? Say it's all for you. Well, I can do whatever I want, but I have to look after- yeah, whatever. I'll help you out. Bread is bread, food is food. People gotta eat. But I will still you know, pick any basket. Or not. But wait. Really? Do I have to start at the start? Is that what it is? Soldier, what can I do for you? Ah, finally a chance to meet one of the soldiers visiting our village. Your buddies have already moved on, right? I too was a member of the Royal Guards a long time ago, so I'm always happy to see other enlisted patriots. Ah, those were the days. Good storytelling for sure. Close to the fireplace with good root beer. Anyway, I'm glad you'll bring some order to these hills. The sooner everything goes back to the way it was, the better. Hmm. Although you've just arrived, and I don't really know you, I sense your good heart. I'd ask you to do something for me. It'd also be a favor to those poor traders on the square. Oh, I hate those traders. Oh, the traders. Right, right, right. Yes, that's one of the reasons I came to you, guy I don't know, and... Yeah. You probably saw the situation in the village. Kavarilin is ruining my business. He forbids me to let traders sleep in the inn and even to sell them food. As gods bear me witness, I count on every coin these days. I don't blame you. I don't understand how we could have been anything. And Marquis. Is the master of Nobody Kodala. around here understands it. That creature must have something on Marquis Cordelitz. Just recently, Tamaka and I talked it over. The Marquis was stern, but folks respected him. Those who had a reason feared him. Maybe he's getting older. He lost vast acres of land, so the damn NTG is tightening the knot around him and all of us. Ah, I can't tell you much about it because my knowledge is limited. For some reason, the Marquis panders to Kavaralin. He didn't cave in and allow Kavaralin to run independent traders out of the village. But the pressure still remains. Since troubles with mine started, the only way to get good merchandise is to wait for the NTG convoys. Besides them, you soldiers and those unfortunate folks from the ship are the only ones who can manage to reach the village. Kavaralin is trying to make the entire Cordon's Fall dependent on NTG and himself. But I'm doing my part to resist. I smuggle food to the independent traders. That's why I need you. I've got some bread. Can you take it to him? I can pay you. Please, take this. Thank you. Yay, bread. Monday, roasted pork. Tuesday, garlic chicken with lemon. Delicious. Wednesday, canrians. Whatever it is. Famous steak with yellow beans. Uh, Thursday, caramanga stew. Friday, grilled macarat meat. Saturday and Sunday, various meals. Oh. 
holy water. Orc stuff. I won't ask questions. Okay, so they got brandy, they've got ale, they've got elven, Atlantis tea, or Altanus tea, whatever. Donleaf tea, orc stuff, elven wine, elven Marilis tea, mead, wine, northern beer. Okay, there's beer. I was gonna say, nothing just said beer. that I don't need. Okay, just enough now to buy one. And I just hope I'm not disappointed by it being the wrong one. Now watch, I can go over here. Click Want to buy one. some beer? That's uh, disappointing or a relief. A sword, a nobleman sword. Oh, it's very nice. Hammer, hammer. That is a nasty looking mace. Does not do much damage, though. Do you even have anything that I would turn? Yeah. I'm not uh, going to... Alright. Finally enough bread. Thank you very much. Okay, well, yay 
That is a crazy looking helmet. Let's get that beer. To go with beer. Great! I'd offer you some, but I guess you're on duty. Look around the village and meet people while you wait for Sir Salivan to return from his mission. More bad news for us these days. The mine in the outskirts isn't the only one with problems. I hope you sharpen your sword, because there's work to be done here in Cordon's Fall. My friends tell me the monster infestation around the village is larger than we thought. A tiny white spider is camped near the gate to the southeast. You're a royal guard. Go there and defeat it. Just remember these things. Left click to attack. At the moment you have no magic or talent in the quick bar, you must defeat him with a cold weapon. Click on a dead body. They glow yellow to see items dropped by your enemies. Pick items up in your inventory. If your health gets low, use a healing potion if you have one. Or run away. You'll heal slowly over time. Left click to attack. So all this time I've been right clicking, I've been doing it wrong. Interesting. So I did level up. So apparently when you level... Okay, you're not limited to 12 levels. But every skill... has 12. I'm going to... Oh, we've got 8 points. Or 9 points. Left to distribute. I don't know if you can change your mind once you've committed to something. I don't know if I'm going to stick with a hammer or not. Energy tolerance to magic, disease, poison, acid, electricity, fire, do a little bit to cold just for uh, character purposes. I'm not doing lumberjack or mining. I'm just going to put one into herbalism and cooking, just because I might do herbalism at a later time, and well, it's too late to take it out now. Undead lore, insect lore, ancient beast lore, arachnid lore, humanoid lore, reptile lore, elemental lore, animal lore, I'm going to put a couple points into. I can just, I assume that that either means you learn more quickly when you add enemies from beast area. Or uh, you gain automatic knowledge when they are added. Okay, we've got swords, axes, maces, knives, polearms, spears, stabs, and bows. I really get into the swing of things, pun intended.
increase my vitality. Oh, I only got one point. Okay, that was a bit of a surprise. Vitality seems to have increased my pace too. I mean, I wasn't really focusing to look. Seems so. Alright. Thank you very much. I'm actually going to call it a night myself. But, uh, alright. That's it for me. Thank you very much for joining me again.